Hi, it's Nell, and I'm glad you've joined me today on this lovely spring day because today I am going to be pruning a hibiscus. So stick around for that. Hibiscus are native to tropical areas. So basically you don't want to prune them in the fall or the winter unless you live in a very warm tropical climate year round, then that is just fine. You don't want to prune, in, prune them when it's too hot or too cold. So as a general rule of thumb, early spring into spring is a great time to prune your hibiscus. And when just depends on where you live. I live in Tucson, Arizona. It's March 23rd and we are in the high 70s into the mid 80s. So it's a great time to do it before it gets too warm. Like I wouldn't want to do it at the end of May because it's going to get really, really hot in June. So I wouldn't prune this hibiscus in the fall here because in mid-December we can dip down below freezing. So you don't want to force out all that new growth, have all that new growth come out in October to November when it's still warmish, and then bang, get hit by a freeze. You, you want it to be a nice, nice, nice temperature. And of course, the earlier in spring you prune, the earlier the flowering is going to happen because hibiscus bloom on new growth. And today I'm going to be pruning a hibiscus which grows outdoors in a pot. It is not mine, it is my neighbor's. Um, but if you uh, grow hibiscus indoors, as a general rule, you just need to pinch them. You don't need to do too much extensive pruning indoors. You just need to pinch it so it does force out that nice new growth. So two other things you need to know besides the timing are... You want to make sure the plant is well watered. I drove by my neighbor's hibiscus the other day and it looked as though it was really dry. So I sent her a message saying, be sure it's well watered before I prune it because you never want to prune a plant that is stressed. And also make sure your pruners are clean and sharp because you don't want to make any jagged cuts. You don't want to tear any of the bark off. You want a nice clean cut. And I have done a couple posts on um, cleaning and sharpening your pruners, which I will leave below for you so you know how I do it. And actually, I just sharpened my pruners yesterday afternoon, so they are all set to go. So there are many different types of pruning. I'm not going to get into that right now, but what I'm going to do today is a cosmetic or more of a selective pruning. This hibiscus has more of like an open spreading shape. So I'm going to see um, what my neighbor wants it to look like. And then we will proceed from there. And uh, so why don't we get on with the pruning? So I'm going to <laughs> carry my tripod down the street because I'm going to walk on down and I will meet you at the hibiscus. So I'm over at my neighbor's now and here is the hibiscus. As you can see, it's very open and spready. And I'm going to take it in a little bit and force a little bit more compact growth. It's got one flower bud on it, and Mary said it has flowered one time. So I don't see too many more, so it's a good time to do it. Oh my gosh, it's quail, it's quail mating season. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get started here. So when you prune a hibiscus, you want to make a cut about a quarter of an inch above the leaf node. And if it's an outward facing bud, it's going to cause it to spread a little bit more. If it's an inward facing bud, then it's going to force it to fill in a, li in a little bit. So it's really your choice on, on exactly how you want to prune it. But um, this one has a beautiful single red flower. So you would start by taking off any dead or broken branches. I really don't see any 
um, this here, but there are some that cross over. Let's see, like these two right here cross over. And so I will probably get rid of this one here. So I'm going to start on in and make a few cuts and then I'm going to show you what I've done. Okay, so I'm going to dive right in on these crossing over ones. Here's one here. I did a nice cl close there. And I'm going to take out this one. And this one I'm going to prune right here to, to this inward facing bud. I'm going to do a few outward facing buds, but most of them are going to be inward. So these down here, I'm going to, going to take all, off also uh, along with this dead. And then some of the weak, these weak ones in the center, because this is a shadier spot here. So as some of these, the inside growth is pretty weak and small. So I'm going to take that out. So this is what it looks like down here now, and I'll show you after I'm done. Okay, I've got it cleaned up down here, but I noticed back here, these two uh, branches are crossing over. So I'm going to take out this smaller one here, and then I can prune the larger one there. Because you can see they're, they're sort of intertwined right there, and you want to get rid of that. Okay, so I've cleaned out in here. Um, I'm going to leave, oh, this is, this is, this is, this is coming from the bougainvillea on the other side of the fence. Oh, I'm going to get the, this one here, but it's nice and open. We have these nice, big, strong branches here. So this, this pruning is going to force it to fill in a, li a little bit. And I've also done a few outward, you know, facing uh, cuts well, like here so it can grow out a bit. And this one. I am going to do right, I'm going to take this one back fairly far right there. And this one here, right there. There. Interesting. And this one, this one I'm going to do right here. There we go. And then this one I did not do. Is that one? Let's see. I'm going to do this one right here. There. So that is all pruned up there. So there's quite a few of these branches that are thinner here. But I don't want to take it off completely because it's going to leave it pretty bare. Um, can always give the plant a turn at some point too. But I'm going to do it right there. And there are some of them that are going to look a little awkward for a while, but it will definitely fill in. Okay, there was a cut that was done here, so there's a lot, lot going on here. So I'll probably take this part off here. So it'll just leave that and that, and then I'll prune that one down right there. Okay, so I gave it a spin around, and you can see this side is actually a little bit more fuller and green because it gets a little bit more light here. This is a covered patio and it is a north exposure, but it blooms beautifully nonetheless because we are in the desert. So there's a lot of sun and the sun is very, very strong. Start out with a smaller cut and then if I want to go back and make a bigger cut because you can always to take more off. You can't put it back on though. So I am just about done and I realized that I'm going to point with it <laughs> with my shoe that I don't like that one down there because it's never really going to develop all that well. This way we have some nice strong main uh, branches and it is done. Okay, a little close up on the finished product here. And as I said, it does look better because I've turned the plant around. And that always helps too. So it'll grow a little bit more evenly now. And she should be seeing some flower buds coming on that new growth in about a month or so because we are nice and warm. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with some worm compost and compost and give this hibiscus a really good feeding, which it's going to love and encourage some of that new growth to pop. Okay, I'm not going to film this one, but I'm going to do the before and after. There's the hibiscus I just pruned there. This one is has many more sticks, so I'm just going to prune it, and then I'm going to show you what I did. And there's a lot of white stuff there. That is residue from white fly. I don't think it's alive. I think it got nipped over the winter, but white fly love hibiscus. And this one is a double orange one. It's got some nice growth coming here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go on and take off below the growth here. Okay, so this one is done. It looks a lot more sticky, as you can see, but it really needed to fill in. And I did the same thing, the in and out buds. Like for instance, on this one, I left this one down here because there's nothing at the base and the, the new growth is there, the swelling node, so it's gonna come out that way. This one I faced that way, so it goes away from the bougainvillea. That one goes that way, this one's coming here. So this one's out here, so it's just sort of back and forth. Oops, that one is right there. It's gonna grow that way. Just to give you an idea. Oops, and this one needs some compost too. So as always, there is a blog post to go along with this video, so be sure to check the link below for more information on doing a light pruning on a hibiscus. So I hope you have enjoyed this video about pruning a hibiscus and found it to be helpful. I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate them. And you know, I have a lot more videos coming your way, so stay tuned for those on all different kinds of things. And now let's get out into the garden or into our indoor gardens, because some people grow hibiscus indoors and make our world a more beautiful place. As always, I thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.